Hi, my name is Michael Jorge. Uh, I'm 23 years old, and today is December 8th, 2020. Right now, I have a 365, which is not a lot, but it's okay. It's just my mom following me. It's fine. My most liked photo on Instagram is actually this one. It's a photo of me at graduation, graduating with the class of 2019. I've worked really closely with Logan, Jeremy, and Jacob all on a bunch of different projects. Not only that, but they're very close friends of mine. I think the most important thing that it means to me is family, kind of like family outside of my family because everybody so far that's a part of the collective, the contributing artists like myself, plus everybody who is on the board, they all take making sure that the environment that we are given to create art, it's a very safe space and they really promote people running with their ideas that they have. I don't think there's ever been a time that I've been shut down on any of my ideas that I've ever brought to a character or anything like that. So I think that the most important thing that it represents to me is family. My favorite memory with Black Wolves has to be us filming this little known short that's on YouTube that you should definitely go check out. It's called The Country House. And I remember there was one night where we were shooting the scene that's outside on the porch and it was so cold. And while I was operating the camera, there was this wind that was coming right across the porch and <laughs> Jacob was holding up the light filter <laughs> and you could just see Jacob just out of the corner of my eye, just going like this, trying so hard to keep still because <laughs> the wind was blowing so hard. It was, it was very, very hard for me not to break down laughing, cracking up and ruining the scene. My favorite moment in my career so far has definitely been being given the opportunity to do extra work on the set of The Week Of by Adam Sandler. It was my first experience actually doing professional work and the environment that they created even for people who didn't have principal roles or anything like that was very, it was really fun. It was really fun. It was very much a relaxed work environment, but like at the same time when people when it was like cameras rolling and everything was on, like it was on. But being next to and acting around, you know, the likes of Adam Sandler and Chris Rock and Steve Buscemi, all actors who are in the movie, there's just this sense of ease that they have through their acting after acting for so long that you can't help but, as a young actor like myself, that kind of like rub off on you. And after a certain point, everything just starts to be a lot more relaxed, if that makes sense. So it was definitely one of the best experiences that I've ever had. Honestly, probably my cell phone, and here's why. I'm a very forgetful person, so I have a bunch of reminders in my phone to do even simple things. And so if I didn't have my cell phone with all my reminders that I put in for work or my calendar and like other reminders of just doing daily things around the house, I would absolutely be lost, lost in the sauce. 100%. I think right now still it is parasite 100%. One of the best movies that I've ever seen. It's a hard choice between that and interstellar, but I think there's just something about the story of parasite that just pushes it just that much farther, if that makes any sense. Blue, 100%. And not just like, not a light, light blue, and not like dark navy blue, but somewhere in between like the middle. But blue, definitely. All of the time. I think that regardless of even, even the field that we're in and the things that we're doing all the time, just life, happens things in your life happen and certain pressures come about but yeah <laughs> that would be the answer to that question yes i do feel pressure <laughs> hypocrites hypocrites are my pet peeve i don't have a lot of pet peeves but people that say that say something and give you advice on something and do exactly what they tell you not to do is the most irritating thing i've ever seen in my life
this next year that you're gonna go through is probably it's actually not probably is definitely going to be the hardest thing that you've ever had to do there's gonna be a lot of heartbreak there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs you're gonna feel low a lot but the most important thing you have to understand is you have a great support system around you of friends and family and contrary to what you believe you are actually good at the thing that you do Trying to think who would be bigger, Adam Sandler or Chris Rock. I'm going to say Chris Rock. <laughs> I'm going to say Chris Rock in this uh, in this instance. On the side of the week up, I got the opportunity to work alongside Adam Sandler and Chris Rock. I actually got to stand next to Chris Rock, which made me sweat a little bit, but it's okay. Gave me a thumbs up, telling me that he did a good job. So, I would say that I would love to work on a Quentin Tarantino film. There's something about Tarantino's writing and his directing style for me that just... It really pushes his actors and really forces them outside of their comfort zone, and it's something that I really want to try. So I would definitely have to be Quentin Tarantino. Without a doubt, The weekend. <laughs> I think the last time that I looked at my iTunes, I think I listened to Blinding Lights. Not Blinding Lights, but the whole After Hours album, the deluxe edition specifically. I think like 80, 80 times already. Don't listen to the haters, bro. Don't. Everybody's going to tell you that you can't do it. People are more often than not going to tell you that you should think about getting another job or think about maybe going back to school or think about a backup plan. And don't listen to them. If it's something that you want to do and acting is something that you want to do and art that's something that you want to do, do it. No matter how many times that you do it, you know what I mean? Experience is just as valuable as, you know, paid work. So you have a phone, you guys have, we have basic technology now. You can do almost anything with the little that most people have anyway. So just do it. Just make it. Throw it out there. See what happens. I want to see more Latinos like myself be represented in today's society because like latin representation isn't that huge still within the media that we're within even today's media and there's not just a lot of shows about us and even like puerto ricans specifically there's even fewer things about puerto ricans or dominicans specifically and i want to see more of that type of representation start to come into the to the world whether it be film TV, video games, art. Probably Instagram. I never post on it at all, which is why I have such a low follower account. But I use it almost every day. I find myself mindlessly scrolling through that. And Twitter. Confidence. It's a thing that I've struggled with and I will probably continue struggling with for all of my life and most of my career, but it's just one of those things that I constantly have to remind myself that no matter how much I think that I might not be good at something, people wouldn't tell you that you are good if you're not, or at least I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, it would definitely be confidence. I'd probably ask the person who gave me the blank check how much they wanted to give me because I'm never one of those people that's just like comfortable with writing down whatever I want, because like, I have a fear all the time that whatever I do, especially in that cer certain c circumstance, that I'd be like asking for way too much. That's always a fear of mine whenever people are like, just take what you want. I'm like, but what if I take too much? Thank you guys for coming and watching my interview. I am going to start up streaming again on Twitch. So you guys should definitely go to there and start following me there. My Twitch account is the Almighty Mike at twitch.com. And 